Hi, and welcome to Video Max. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create call to action overlays for your videos using the Video Max plugin. So, we'll click on Create New Video Max. This is where all the magic happens. This top section is the same for each overlay, so I'm only going to go over it once. First, you want to give your video a name, paste your video URL inside. You can change the size of the video. You can upload an image. We can also choose to have our video autoplay. Under the video actions is where all the fun starts. We have four different action types. I'm going to show you all four, but I'm going to start with opt-in. So we'll want to choose our display time, whether it's the beginning of the video, the end of the video, or after a certain period of time from when the video started. We'll enter our call to action text. We can choose our color. We can choose any of these additional text options here. We can choose our text size. We can choose the position and an entry animation. Then we'll just scroll down to the bottom and click on Save All Changes. To preview, simply copy the shortcode, add a new page, and paste the code directly in the editing box. Make sure you update the page, and then you can push Preview. As you can see, my opt-in overlay has appeared, and the video is stopped. So before they can move on with the video, they're going to need to enter their email address and then push skip to continue with their video. Now I'm going to show you the second video option, which are the buy buttons. So again, we'll pick our display time. We'll choose our button style. We have several that you can choose from and you can preview them before you choose. Select the position again of the overlay or pop up and the entry animation. You're also going to want to add your button link. Save all changes. And again, let's see what it looks like on a preview page. So again, we'll just paste the short code into a new page and then preview the page. Now remember, we put our buy button at the beginning of the video, so the video won't even play until they click on the add to cart button, which will take them to the link that we set up. In order to start the video, they'll need to push the skip button. Now that I know you guys are getting the hang of it, let's go straight to our third video action. We're going to select share buttons, select our display time, choose the social media networks that we want our video to be shared to, position it, Give it an entry animation, scroll down, and save changes. Now let's check it out on a preview. This one will all also stop the video. It'll display the icons for all of those social media sites. And again, in order for them to continue on, they need to push skip. Last but not least, we have our call to action video action. And it's the same process. We'll choose our display time, our call to action text. We'll choose our button color. We'll choose our text color. We can choose our text font from the drop down menu. Any of the other additional text options if you'd like. The size. We need to enter our redirect link. Select the position and the animation. Scroll down and save all changes. So let's preview it one last time. And as you can see, there's our call to action, which again goes to that URL we chose. And in order for them to move on with their video, they're going to need to press the skip button and handle that call to action.